Yes, you need a website. If you don't have a website, get a website. Websites are not expensive. You can get one on Wix. You can make it yourself as long as you have something. Now, of course, I do not recommend Wix websites to anyone. However, in the beginning, you probably have to have one, and that's fine. But once you get bigger and you actually have money to put into getting a website done, dear God, get WordPress. Wix is just such a pain in the butt, and there's a lot of limitations to things like Wix. Um, there's just a lot of limitations. And when you get bigger, you're going to want to track certain things, and you're, want, you're going to want to implement certain types of plugins and certain types of of uh, integrations on your site and Wix does not allow for all of everything so use WordPress if you can if you have the time to teach yourself WordPress then you can totally get a theme on WordPress pretty inexpensively or you could even use one of their free themes you can teach yourself via YouTube videos you can teach yourself with lynda.com l-y-n-d-a.com that is my favorite educational tool that there is online. It is an amazing resource that has videos to learn anything on the computer. So get on there, learn WordPress, make your own website, you can do that. However, that is not something that you can you should be taking lightly. If you are creating your own WordPress site and teaching yourself as you do it, which is something I did uh, the very first month, oh, I, before I opened my business, I made sure my website was done before I opened my business. It took me over 80 hours to get that website done because I was learning as I did it. I learned, I taught myself how to make the website as I was doing it, and it was so freaking difficult. It's not even that it was difficult. It was just extremely time-consuming. And getting, you know, just the design element, I don't feel like I have a very good design eye, so I would have to, I would create it, and then I would just scrap it all and start over, and it was just like, trying to find the right pictures and learning about all the integrations and everything, it was very, very time consuming. So just keep that in mind. Whenever people say to me, I can teach myself, I can just do it myself, and rather than paying like 1500 bucks, which is what we charge for a website that are beautiful and everything else, uh, if, if they say, well, I'd rather just do it myself rather than spending $1,500, well, if you've spent 80 hours though to do it, and then even at the end, it's still not like really professional looking because you're not a professional, you know what I mean? Like my website that I spent all that time on was hideous it was hideous I hated it I in the beginning I loved it but then once I realized how modern other people's websites looked and how like clean and fresh I was like oh my god mine is so ugly like what was I thinking and it's just because I didn't know I was just I didn't have the design and I hadn't really you know I don't know but anyways keep that in mind it is worth paying 1500 bucks to get a professional beautiful website done um, and web and websites typically are up to like five grand. So um, you know, look around. Ours are fifteen hundred. They're templated. They're beautiful, but you can get custom ones done if you want to have like your own specific type of website or whatever for like a couple grand more. Um, and typically, people do payment plans and stuff like that. But it is super important to have a perfectly modern and easy functioning easy user interface website because that is the digital storefront of your business. It's the most important thing because everybody's going to Google you. That's how they find you. That's where most people are going to find you is on the internet. So make sure your site's awesome.